Tonight, a Way 31 I team investigation shows you how Alabama is upgrading the way it pays out benefits from one particular food assistance program. Across the state, more than 100,000 people participate in the Women, Infants, and Children Nutrition Program. Now, to be clear, WIC is different from the SNAP program, also known as food stamps. Instead, we're talking about WIC, which pays for a relatively short list of specific foods based on their nutritional value. WE 31's Greg Privet shows you how we're a few weeks away from a new eWIC card, and it's expected to streamline what's been an inefficient process. <laughs> oh no! With baby twins and a toddler in tow, you help me push. Shaza Robinson has her hands full. Kingston's up front. Can I have kisses? Kalia's riding in back, <laughs> and big brother Keegan is helping push. The single mom depends on the Women, Infants, and Children Nutrition Program, known simply as WIC. We use it for the kids. Um, they give you Similac, and also when they get a little older, they provide the cereal and the um, first and second stage baby foods. Um, and also for my two year old, they provide like a 2% milk for them and yogurt. <gasps> Robinson is thankful for WIC. <laughs> At grocery store checkouts, though, using WIC means making other shoppers wait. It's just kind of embarrassing to go to the store and have to use the vouchers because, you know, everybody's behind you and you're holding up the line. It would just be so much easier if we could just swipe and just go on about our day. A federal mandate is about to give Robinson what she wants. We're changing to eWIC, which is an electronic benefits transfer system. Jesse Simmons is the Northern District Nutrition Director for Alabama's Department of Public Health. She points out the WIC point of purchase system is old school. Eligible items each spelled out on individual paper checks or vouchers. Instead of paper vouchers, we will have eWIC cards which are like debit cards that will have a PIN number. Personal identification numbers entered at card readers cut down on fraud. The state says the new eWIC cards are completely secure for users with no link to personal banking information. The new cards won't even have names on them, just 16-digit WIC account numbers. They won't have to separate their WIC foods from their non-WIC foods. It'll be a lot faster to just be a swipe of a card versus having to sign each voucher for each transaction. The old vouchers have been vexing. In our state, about 117,000 people use WIC. Besides kids, WIC is intended to help pregnant, new, and nursing moms. WIC promotes specific nutritious foods, just to name a few, infant formula, milk, cheese, cereal, fruits, veggies, juice, yogurt, and eggs. The new eWIC cards will sort it all out electronically. It will be great for us. Grocery stores are eager for the new system. Uh, we're hoping that it means our customer service will be a lot better and go a lot smoother and faster. Uh, with not having to check the WIC checks out and every single item on the check. Lynn Gann with Star Market says checkout clerks can stop being eWIC cops. Soon, a database will look for product barcodes and make all the judgment calls. It will be just scan it, go. And we will be working with WIC to make sure that we have everything in the database for them. EWIC families with more than one child will see all benefits loaded onto a single card instead of doled out to individuals item by item. And they could choose to just get one gallon of milk or just one container of juice or $5 for fr of fruits um, instead of having to use exactly what's on the voucher. It'll be more user friendly. <laughs> Shaza Robinson can't wait to get her family's new eWIC card, an improvement on a program she already appreciates. It's a great program and it's really helped me a lot being a single parent um, and, you know, me having the, the support from them to help be able to make sure that they're, you know, that we have what they need. Reporting in Huntsville and Decatur, Greg Privet, Way 31 News. That baby is just so cute. And beginning in the fall, a three-month pilot program will begin in Otaga, Elmore, and Moore and Montgomery counties. The eWIC card will be available statewide next year. That electronic card will also help to the state to track the foods families purchase to fine-tune nutritional offerings.